Hi guys, welcome to this uh, short video, ins instructional video on Microsoft Forms. Um, now whether you're a teacher, student, uh, researcher or just anyone who has Office 365, I'm going to give you a quick run through of how to use my Microsoft Forms because it's really, really good for gathering data. Um, so when you jump on in, you'll be presented with this screen. Um, I'm going to click new form and walk you through it. So I'm kind of like um, a visual effect visual effects is my area so first of all you can give your form a name and a description so I'm going to use an example that I might end up using um, how so I'm going to do like I'm going to use mine as a feedback form um, which you can do and you can also use for research to gather information but I'm just going to go how did you find the visual effects course so mine's going to be structured like this okay I'll just get rid of that um, give feedback on your experience of the course so again title and description pretty simple you can also add an image if you want um, once you've once you've given it a name next thing is to start adding some questions now if I click add new I've got a choice um, of different types of questions I can ask so first one um, we'll go for is rating okay so how you, you know you can just type in a question here how did you find the course question mark and you can give different levels so they can leave one out of three stars I'd probably just stick with a five because people are used to seeing that you've got different symbols in here so you can go for numbers or you can go for stars okay um, and then people can say three stars four stars five stars whatever you've also got the option to make this question required that means if you click this they have to answer this question in order to submit the form back to you um, that is optional so that's the first type of question. Again, you can add images with it if you wish. Um, just by clicking here, you can add media. Um, so that's, you know, that's quite a useful one. You can get people's view on things. So again, if you're doing research into any subject, really, you can get them just to give three out of five stars or whatever. Um, let's add a new one and have a look at another uh, possible one. one. One of these is text. So let's click that one. So a question I could potentially ask is, um, what was your favorite, or um, what did you learn from the course? And with this one, it gets the users to, um, they have to type in an answer. You can click long answer so they can type more. I would always do that just in case. You can also make it required like last time. And so this, this is a nice one. They have to type their own answer then. So that's another type of question you can use. Um, again, let's go to add new. Um, let's go for date this time. So this is quite a nice feature. Um, when did you um, sit the course? And with this one, they have to input a date. So they can just click this little date thing and input a date. Again, it can be used for absolutely anything as long as the answer that you require is a date. And again, you can make this required and add an image or media if you wish okay next one we've done uh, so let's do choice let's click this one uh, again this is a multiple choice one what was your favorite lesson um, and then you can let's go lesson one lesson two you can add add more you can also add other so that if, if it's like um you know yeah, other, you, you know what that could be used for, obviously. You can let them do multiple answers. If you want them to do multiple answers, you have to enable it. And again, you can make it required, add some media. Okay, again, let's look at another type, add new, and we'll come down and let's have a look. You can add a new section. So if you have different sections, like um, you know, the first bunch of questions could be about, if you were looking at um, films, first bunch of questions could be about action films. The next bunch of questions, you can just make a new section give it a title and a name if you wish. Um, I'm actually gonna delete this, so I'm gonna remove section, and just this section, yeah. And again, let's have a look at what else we've got. So we've got a ranking by here, and again, you can basically type in here a question, and then these options, and you can get people to then rank them. And again, you can make it required or not. Um, I'm not gonna bother with that one. I'm just gonna leave it at these four. Um, you've got up here um, themes so again you can make it you know more attractive you can give it a theme like this you know some paint pots if you're doing some arty thing 
Um, a classroom, if you're a teacher, you can use that. If you're doing a science one, you can, you know, there's plenty in here. And you can also use different colors. Um, again, it's, it just highlights these little bits. Microsoft um, use that all the time in Outlook and stuff. Uh, you've also got these funky ones as well. And yeah, so it's all, all quite cool. Um, I'm just gonna go with this nice little octopusy one. Okay, you've got some options in here. So if we go into settings, um, where it says record name, you can tick that or untick it. If you want it or not, if you want it to be anonymous, untick it, because what it'll do, it'll record the actual um, Microsoft 365 email. Um, and again, if you want it anonymous, just tick it off, untick it. Um, you can make it so that only one response per person, so that's, that would work with one response per 365 login. Um, with the responses, you can do a start date and an end date. You can also shuffle the questions. If you, you know, if it's like a test or something for students, um, you can shuffle the questions to make it, you know, a bit more random so they can't say, this is the answer to this one, stuff like that. Um, and yeah, finally, um, you can also then share it, which is, you know, great because you need to. Um, so with this drop down, if you're in an organization, you can tick so only people in the organization or school or institution can respond, or you can do any one of the links. So if you're sharing it on social media, you might want to make sure anyone with a link is ticked. Um, so you can share, first of all, a link. You can share that to your social medias, uh, whatever. Um, you've also got a QR code. You can generate a QR code if you wish. Um, you can embed this on a website. If you own a website, you can click this link to get an embed link. And you can also, I don't know why that popped up. You can also um, send it out as an email, okay? Um, once you have people responding, um, if you come back in here, once people have responded, go into responses. Right now, I've got zero responses. Um, it'll also tell you when people do respond, the average time it took people to complete. And where it says status, if you've set an end date or kind of um, closed it down, you can close it down within the settings, um, just in here. You can click to turn accept responses off. Um, but yeah, mine is currently active. When you get your results, they'll all be populated by here and it can give you pie charts and it can give you statistics, which you can also open in Excel. But it's quite nice. Um, it gives you, you know, lots of nice little charts so you can really screenshot the data and you have some really nice analysis of it. So very, very powerful tool. You can also preview it if you want so this is what it's going to look like um, very very powerful tool you can see what it looks like on mobile as well which is pretty awesome uh, yeah like I said really powerful tool um, so I really recommend people use this just to gather data it's really quick to shove together look you know input the date blah 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 stuff like that and give a little rating and then submit awesome um, so hope, hopefully you found that useful. Hopefully there's a nice quick little walkthrough of how you can use this. Like I said, you can kind of, um, in the questions, you can kind of attach Im uh, where are we going? You can attach images to them. Um, I probably have to go back into edit, yeah, because I'm in preview. Um, but yeah, hopefully you found that useful and um, cheers for tuning in.